Recently, I've been hearing a lot of people say that the Diamati is one of the best weapons in zombies. So today we're gonna be taking on the Firebase Z and testing out not only against zombies, but against Orta. But really quick, here are my attachments I'm gonna be using for it. It's the Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, 30 round Fast Mag, and of course, dual wield. The wrist looks so uncomfortable holding that. But anyways, let's hop on the Firebase Z and get this test started. Uh, it's good to be back. Even though I'm pulling up with the wrong gun, it's nice to, to drive back into some Firebase Z. Gonna turn off these subtitles though. All right, we can't miss our loose change. Our movement speed already feels pretty fast with these. So that's obviously an added benefit. And of course it insta-kills on round one. Does it insta-kill a body shot? No, almost does. But like all guns, gotta be aiming for the dome. But it also sounds sick when you shoot them at the same time. Listen, hold on, Weaver, shut up. Ravenoff, you shut up too. Hey, I'm trying to do some audio stuff. Sick. All right, now that they're finally done speaking so rudely over these weapons, this is what they sound like both shooting at the same time. It, it just, it works together so sick. Just the way it rolls off each other is nice. All right, but let's start the rampage induce here. We gotta get the order fast. Gonna have to buy that first door. No skips today. Let's grab our loose change from Tombstone. We just need a little more money and then we can start getting this reactor on. But so far, so good. These things are nice. Very comparable to a shotgun. Probably more range and faster fire rate. Not bad. We gotta grind this rail. Can they grind the rail? Ooh, they can. All right, let's get power on. Zombies, leave these reactors alone, please. You guys ever walk right up to these and just look in the middle? Pretty sick. Ooh, double points. Let's go. And there's our first reactor done. <laughs> really almost corner myself at the end there. And Pack, shut up. Preemptively, shut up. Yes. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, he didn't even start speaking. I thought he... I actually got him to shut up. Okay, next reactor has started. Is it me or do I... Do you guys also hear that somewhat cat sound when these reactors are going off? Uh-oh. Out of ammo. These things probably aren't that great when they don't have any bullets to shoot. Quick ammo. Oh, 420 reserve on max? Weed. There we go. Second reactor is done. Now all we need to do is grind the big rail. Uh, I'll count it. I kind of bounced off of it, but I kept the momentum going. Can we upgrade these yet? Let's go. Get them to green. Open this bad boy up. A little loose change. And let's start up our last reactor. A little bonus points. We take those. Holy shit. That's a lot of zombies. And they're all gone. Almost all of them. Oh, the reactor's already done. I really thought I was about to corner myself and die there. Jeez, these things are fast. I don't think there's that many zombies left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get Pack-a-Punch. Okay, I just need one kill. There we go. We have enough for Pack-a-Punch, but let's get rid of these guys first. Two zombies left. Let's hurry up and grab Pack-a-Punch before anything crazy happens. And I do have Dark Aether on, so we're not gonna be able to check our Pack-a-Punch camos today. Pack, shut your fucking mouth. Grab our loose change from here. We don't have enough to buy any perks yet. We'll have to come back at a later time. For now, we have to run. That's what I'm saying, Dr. Gray. Okay, Mimic kind of just like was there for a second that disappeared and came back. Another Mimic? No, it's just a fake Mimic. A Mimic of a Mimic. We're home. Hold on, boys. I'll greet you properly in a minute. The armor. Okay. Okay, now now we have good luck for the rest of this game. Also, the pack punch name for the Diamatis are Dialati, Diamori. Pretty sick. The dual wield weapons always have the best pack a punch names. Where's this last zombie? It's not stuck. Are you gonna spawn all the way down here? No. What the hell? There it is. All right, I'm just gonna camp the round out up here. If I remember to leave one, we can go get some perks. Let's just try shooting one pistol. Not bad. Still does a lot of damage. But I think the whole point of doing this dual wield is to get that all that bonus damage in. You got two guns firing at the same time. I did not leave one. We got double points going though. So we can just rack up some more. And we can grab even more perks when we go back. Jeez. That whole horde of zombies just got melted. Okay, I'm already starting to like these a lot. Oh, look at the reserve ammo. 669? Sex? Oh, 840 now. And I didn't leave one again. Okay. After this round, for sure. An insta-kill. We'll take that. Now we can really only fire one. Just save us some ammo. We have one zombie left. I actually remembered. We need some perks. We could honestly get pack punch too and just try to rough it with no perks, but that's a little greedy. Okay, before the zombie breaks through the barrier, we are getting quick revive, jug, stamina up, dead shot. We're also going to upgrade our weapon to blue, get armor level two, kill the zombie, and let's head back. All right, now just so we can get to order faster, I'm going to stay in kernels unless there's an assault wave or I need ammo. Everyone comes first. Huh. 
One burst just took out five zombies right there. These are broken. And after our assault wave, I think I'm going to switch over and go sit in the faster spot. I just wanted to come to Colonel's just because I'm I'm married to Colonel's. I can't just play Firebase and not sit in here for a little bit. I'm also curious to see what the other spot's like with a Rampage Inducer. All right, we have one zombie left, so I'm going to bring him over to our other spot. Screw waiting for the assault wave. It's probably going to come right after this round anyways. But I want to get as much time in this other room as possible. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this room right here. Rounds go by so much faster in here than they do in Colonels. It's just Colonels is way safer. And I think Colonels is probably better for crits because of this staircase here and not having all the heads to level when they come in. Okay. So far, so good. Let's ring a fire. Our first ring of fire with these. They still absolutely shred. Look, this mimic didn't even stand a chance. Could hardly even look at it before it died. And that's the round. Our ring of fire lasted that whole round, basically. It just now went out. These things are destructive. Okay. Destructive to my health. Thank God we had that decoy. These sprinters are no joke. There's our assault wave. Right as we run out of ammo, too. What was that noise, Rabinoff? Are you all right? You must go to the area. Yeah, I'll make it there when I make it there, Rabinoff. We still have a whole 30 seconds to buy some perks. Let's get death perception. That way we get some more salvage. We can get mule kick. That way we get more ammo, speed cola, because we can be fast. And we might as well grab an ammo mod. Let's get shatter blast to make these things even more destructive. All right, we're just a little bit late for this assault wave, but I think we'll be fine. This one's not too far away. Time is limited, Requiem. Shut up, Pack. Yeah, they're just now getting over here. So we're chilling. I do need ammo, though. So I'm gonna buy that. Oh, my Lanta. These zombies do not stand a chance. Once these are fully packed, it's over. These are basically insta-kill the gun. Or I guess guns. But that was the fastest assault wave I've ever seen. Holy mimic. Get out of here. What the hell are you doing? All right, we've made it back to our spot. Of course, a max ammo always drops right after an assault wave. Oh, double points? I need those. First, we got a ring of fire. Grab them, make it back. Grab that max ammo. And bonus points. They're spoiling us. Oh, there's a Gersh on the ground. Do that. Okay, our first mangler coming in. I'm sorry, pal, but you're not going to be staying for long. Already dead. Oh, no. Throwing the Gersh. We don't have a ring of fire yet. Oh, wait. Okay, good thing it actually didn't use that Gersh, because now we do have a ring of fire. That would have been a waste of zombies. You know what? Actually, I'm switching the Gersh out. Decoys only. Did I just duplicate these? Is that what just happened? Okay, I gotta throw my decoy, because I'm getting kind of crowded here. Insta-kill would be very nice if they let me to it. Okay, I'm going down. I can still use these on the ground, though. Yeah, run away. Okay, that wasn't very nice. I'm gonna pick up stuns instead. The biggest downfall to these is just having to reload. And even with speed cola, it can get a little tough with super sprinters, but quick revive, we got right back up because we can use these things while still on the ground. So that's the only thing holding us back so far. Round 19. I keep yeah, misusing my ring of fires. Like I still have one going and the round's just now starting. Whoa, what was that? Shatter Blast just went off in my face. I flashbang myself. Stun, please go off. Another stun, please. Okay, ring of fire time. Gonna need these double points so we can buy back our perks. Another double points. Double the double points. Oh, and there's our assault wave. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade these to purple. We can't grab armor level three, but we have 39,000 points. Let's go ahead and pack these to two, and then we can grab our perks back. Mimic, did you really want to die like that? Don't fucking grab me and open your mouth. Okay, we're running out of time. I need to be fast. Okay, pack two. Got it. Mimic. What did I just tell your friend? We're gonna get quick revive back. We're gonna get speed cola. We're gonna get dead shot. We're gonna get death perception. We're gonna get mule kick. And that's all good for now. All right, we've made it. Good thing there hasn't been too many zombies yet. Either way, this thing's melting them all. This is easy. Come on, zombies. Come on up. Oh, when you got some distance and two full mags on these, no horde of zombies is surviving. I'm gonna let these guys come up in a group just to show you. Come on. I'll even let them get some damage on it so I can get a whole horde behind me. Here we go. Look, we got this nice big group of zombies. They're all about to be gone. Literally all of them. By the time I had to reload. Ridiculous. Hey, these zombies almost took it out on their own. All right, back to our Ray K room. I guess that's what we're going to be calling it now. Ray K room. So I have no idea what the actual name for it is. Oh, it's called Weapon Lab. I guess that makes more sense. And there we go again. Another max ammo right after receiving. Guess what? A max ammo. 
They're actually trolling. An insta-kill too. We'll take that. As if this thing needed it. Let's just hit this nuke so we can get this round over earlier. Easy. Okay, let's grab armor level three. You know what? Let's hit the box one time. Ray gun? Nope. So sitting in here with the, without the rampage inducer is a lot easier. So it'll basically be like this until you get into the 50s when the health cap goes up and then you start seeing more sprinters. But round 22, it's extremely manageable in here. Don't even have to use my ring of fire. This thing is so destructive. We're already on round 23. These just fly by. I can't wait to see these pack punch three. I have a feeling it's going to absolutely destroy Orta. Just the rate at what these things shoot at. And it's already doing 4,000 damage to each of these zombies. Well, I guess it is insta-kill. So, like, that's going to be their max health. Maybe I'm getting a little too ahead of myself here. Okay, now no more, no more insta-kill. That did 7,000 damage without Shatter Blast. Let's see how they do here. Zombies, go ahead. Spawn in. Okay, just one normal zombie. 6,000 damage to the head. These things aren't messing around with their damage. And at the rate they shoot with two of them, there's no way Orta stands a chance. I can just feel it. The biggest problem, I think, is going to be range. But once he gets into our into our sights, into our the area we can shoot, he's done. Five more rounds to go. Assuming Orta comes at 30. But he almost never does. Oh! No, my guns were at six and nine. How did I lose one bullet? Man, that would have been perfect. Oh, we got our sharpshooter badge for him. Didn't even realize we don't have that for this. I guess now we do. There's probably a bunch of guns I don't have the sharpshooter badge for. All right, we have one zombie left. 1,040 kills, 530 crits. That's not bad for not attempting to go for crits and get camos. But since we do have this last zombie, I'm going to get the last of my perks and fully pack this. So there's pack three. We're getting elemental and tombstone. Now we're all set. And since we have a little leftover change, let's hit the box one more time. Ray gun. No, not even close. Okay, now that we have elemental pop, the reload shouldn't be as big of an issue because we're going to be able to electric cherry every time we do it. And I think we can switch on and off on doing it with one gun. So if I shoot this one and reload, I get one. And if I shoot this one and reload, I get one. So if we kind of alternate our guns so that one always has ammo and the other one doesn't, we can just constantly pop electric cherry. Let's start shooting with the right. Okay, now we're about halfway and we can start double shooting. Okay, reloading one, easy electric cherry. Reloading two. Oh, let's go. Let's go. They're perfectly alternated. Oh, uh, max ammo is going to fuck up our alternation. So let's just shoot the left one until we're about halfway. And we're right back on it. This might be the most busted set of weapons in this game. Still don't even need ring of fire. And we're just demolishing any zombie that walks through either this door or this door. Not even fair. But now we have them legendary. So they're at their max potential. Let's make sure we get this one to halfway. Okay, now we can shoot both. That's such a fire strat, by the way. Just doubling the amount of electric cherries you'll get without ever having to stop shooting. Like, come on. These guns couldn't be even more busted. See, look at that cherry. Easy. I'm not even going to move. Not moving. Cherry's going to save me if anything gets close. Dude, these are busted. I have not taken a step. Come on, zombie. Easy. I wish I wouldn't have picked up that insta-kill. It really just takes away from how great these weapons are. All right, but I will not move from the spot. We only have a few more seconds left of insta-kill. I'm not moving from the spot the rest of the round. I'm not even going to ring a fire if I don't need to. All right, let's get our gun ready. Okay, it's halfway, just about, maybe a little over. Let's get rid of it. There we go. Okay, now we're all set. Double points, too. You even have to move for it. Look at this. Okay. I got knocked back a little bit, but that's the mangler's fault. Still no ring of fire. Might need one in a little bit, though, not gonna lie. Actually, I don't know. This thing still shreds. We're doing nine to 10,000 damage, 15,000 there. That's the entire round. I didn't move at all. Just got knocked back by a mangler. This is so broken. No wonder you guys have been hyping these things up. These might be my new favorite weapons. Plus, look at the top of these barrels or wh whatever that's called. I'm not a gun buff, but it looks like a Twizzler. They're still slaying just in case you're wondering. Absolutely zero challenge here. Okay, I got a ring of fire since that mangler got extremely close. But even with the ring of fire, nothing's even getting up those stairs. These weapons are busted. Also, we're at round 30. Order's not showing his face. He'll probably be here by round 34. Coward. Give me those double points. There's so many zombies, but it literally does not matter. All, all I see is dollar signs right now. Just all those essence signs popping up. It's for at 63,000 with no need for any of it. This is such a cakewalk. But I feel like there's such a drastic like damage fall off for pistols towards later rounds. 
that these are just like early game machines. I don't know how they do towards the health cap. I have to use these on my next round 100 attempt. It's literally nothing but the sound of these things shooting and zombies dying in here. And it's at such an alarming rate. And my health is alarmingly low. Uh, we used that ring of fire right at the end of the round. What a waste. Uh-oh. They're getting a little faster and angrier. We got some brain rot to help out. I can't even tell what's going on in here sometimes. Oh, 33. See, Order was literally just waiting for me to use that ring of fire to show up like he normally does. So I'm going to have to nade to get the ring of fire back. But I guess we can see how the Diamantes do default against him. But I love it whenever we get this beach to go against Orda. It's just the perfect platform to get him. The zombies have to go all the way around and up the stairs to get to us. Gives us so much time just to lay into him. Right now, 1,700 kills, 857 crits. That's what it's like before I use these Semtexes to get my ring of fire off. Come on in, Orda. All right, how much damage from here? Only 900? That's not bad. That's 900 each bullet. This thing is a three-shot burst. That's not bad at all, especially from a pistol from this range. Right, let's go ahead and throw our Semtexes down. Make sure no zombie makes it out of here alive. More zombies coming this way. That just means more kills. And let's hit our ring of fire. 1,500 damage from all the way back here. 1,600? 1,700 dead shot bonus really coming into play here. And he's critting. 3,500 if we can hit the spot. Holy shit. Literally already dead. No health on him. Goodbye, Orda. See you later. They just now made it up here. And he's already gone. How are you shooting? You're dead. Stop. You're done. It's over. Give up. Why aren't you dying? Why are you just standing there? There we go. Jeez, Orda. You couldn't come to terms with how bad he just got smacked. Little bitch. We actually just fried the hell out of him and missed the rail at the same time. All right, now all that's left to do is to survive until our next exfil and see if we can get out with these, which I'm almost positive we can. Oh, nuke right as I hit my ring of fire. Really right in front of my salad. Any day now, zombies. Go ahead and spawn. Oh my Lanza. The more and more I've been using these, the more and more I'm convinced that these are just completely busted. I'm still hardly having to use my ring of fire now. Like once we get elemental pop and everything going, it's just like smooth sailing. Nothing's getting to me. All right, we do have our exfil opened up. Normally I go over and buy like a death machine or something, but we really don't even need it. Now let's get out of here. Okay, they're gonna crowd up this door. I'm gonna just stand there and fight them. Oh, they didn't even get here fast enough, idiots. Come on, zombies. Try a little harder. Let's get one big train of them up. Then I'm just gonna ring a fire and melt them. Just ring a fire. So far, so good. Just watch the number of hostiles drop. And they're literally all gone. Oh, wait, there's two more. That's one. Okay, wait, we got both of them in one shot there? Okay. And yeah, let's head on out. Very successful, holding both pistols in one hand there. Total kills, almost 2,000. Total crits, almost 1,000. Again, we did use a Semtex a few times, got a ring of fire, but that's still really good numbers. And only one down. What overall review on these weapons? The Diamatis might have just become my favorite weapons. They absolutely destroy. You can also alternate shoot them. Just shoot out most of the mag on one, get it down to half. And then you're constantly firing, never reloading both at the same time and then once you get elemental pop and you electric cherry it is just overpowered the damage these things do is ridiculous or the fire rate is absolutely absurd and orda did not stand a, a chance against these literally nothing does but that's where i'm gonna have to end this video if you guys like this you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing for all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later